بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم پاکستان لاسٹ ٹائم وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دا رول آف او ای سی ڈی اینڈ ویل اینڈ وسل بلوئنگ او ای سی ڈی ایز یو آل نو اسٹینڈ فار دی آرگنائزیشن فار اکنامک آپریشن اینڈ ڈیولپمنٹ اینڈ دیو ڈن اے لاٹ آف ورک ان ڈیولپنگ ریسرچ فریم ورکس میکنزمس رولز لاز ریسپانسبلٹیز ریلیٹڈ ٹو وسل بلوئنگ اینڈ ہاؤ اٹ کین بی انکریجڈ آن دی ہول ویل ٹوڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو کم بیک ٹو پاکستان اینڈ وی گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ وسل بلوئنگ لاز ان پاکستان Now, when we look at the topic, then different jurisdictions define whistleblowing differently. One clear distinction is the eligibility criteria for protection. Some countries protect only formal employees, while others also include volunteers, consultants, and uh, the contractors. Now, when we are looking at all of this, then we see that uh, either we can only protect the employees or we protect everyone linked to the company and anyone who blows a whistle is going to get the protection. And I... On a personal note, I would think that that is much better because usually there is not one person uh, alone. They are a group of people. So the rest of the group of people can also be protected and they can give their evidence in a better way uh, in the court of law. Uh, instead of admitting to corruption and mending their ways, persons implicated in corruption can choose to attack or retaliate. Now, this is uh, the, the biggest problem that we have, that the people that you want to bring under the ambit of law and you want to expose, they have so many funds available. Uh, with them and they can basically do anything they want and that becomes a very big challenge uh, for all the stakeholders who are involved uh, in mending this particular situation. In Pakistan, the Khyber Pakhtun Khwa Whistleblower Protection and Vigilance Commission Act 2016 provides protection to whistleblowers. There is also the Whistleblower Protection and Vigilance Commission Ordinance 2019 and it has been approved by the National Assembly for enforcement at the federal level. So again, uh, that is going to be supplementing Uh, the Whistleblower Protection and Vigilance Commission Act. Uh, this other law will further suple- supplement it and also bring under its ambit those different organizations uh, or communities which claim to be exempt uh, from uh, whistleblowing or the implications of whistleblowing or uh, why uh, whistleblowers basically emerge uh, after they have recovered from uh, COVID-19. So all of these different aspects, but we have the laws. both at the provincial and at the federal level, which is extremely good. Moreover, uh, protection of witnesses is guaranteed under NAB's ordinance, section 31E. This is a very important uh, section in which it is clearly illuminated that the person who is giving evidence can uh, particularly glow. Uh, the provision of financial reward has also been included in section 33A of the NAB ordinance and section 13 of the Whistleblower Protection and Vigilance Commission Act 2019. So again, what we see is, is that uh, there are structured rewards in NAB and also the KPK government. Uh, which is to encourage people to basically come out with their right money. So this is very, very important. And we see that uh, these legal frameworks also uh, tend to overwhelm the different activities of uh, corruption and injustice taking place. Even with the existence of whistleblower laws and the NAB ordinance, there is a hindrance in pro- promotion of whistleblowing in Pakistan. One, due to the prevailing workplace culture, where we see that people form uh, small pressure groups and then those pressure groups Uh, are not considered with what is right and wrong. They will just follow their own agenda and try to bring someone else also on board. So their strength tends to increase. There are social constraints also because usually it is socially not acceptable that someone younger is going to uh, apply against someone older. It would be looked down upon. So therefore, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of uh, contextual uh, social constraint. Uh, the third one is prevalence of corruption uh, and that tends to justify uh, why Uh, other people are involved in such practices and then just a few people extricating themselves is just like a drop in the ocean. But each drop, if it keeps on dropping, can make a hole uh, in a stone also. So again, the important thing is persistence, determination, and this resolve to do something good for country, humanity, and the whole world. Thank you so much.